Hello, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Mantalk.ke. Thank you for coming back for another week for another good conversation. Now, we're here in Kafisi, Riverside Square, and we're about to interview. No, it's not going to be an interview. It's a chat with some incredible people that Oscar will introduce. Do your thing, buddy. Welcome to another episode of Man Talk this festive season. Hi, I had a Merry fantastic Christmas. conversation to unbox, another one, obviously, with Tile Pak, bro. Pak, bro. Pak, bro. <laughs> and Martina Gles. Uh-huh. I say Gles, uh-huh. the Iglesias, or uh-huh. Gonzalez. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, we are very excited to have them. These are lovely dancers, uh-huh. content creators, uh-huh. and lately, fashion designers, uh-huh. as we'll soon come to find out. Uh-huh. Really excited to have you. Pak, bro. Tile, uh-huh. how are you feeling? I'm feeling all right. How are you feeling? You're feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling yeah. good. How's life treating you? Pretty well, I could say. Welcome to Mind Talk. Martina, how are you feeling? Hi, I'm good. Thank you for having us. We're really excited to have you. We're about you. to have a lot of fun, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're about we to have are. a lot of fun. It's good to be it's in the good. company of friends. It's like people we're familiar with. It's going to be a good conversation, yes. not an interview. It's going to be a not chat. Good. So what we do at the beginning of every episode, you're familiar by now, is we play the unpopular opinion of the week. Now, we've not heard this one. Okay. Let's run it and then we just discuss. Okay, we have no it. idea what's being said. Okay, here mm-hmm. we go. Here we go. Here we go. Volume up. Brains on. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. As interracial couples, what are some of the assumptions and questions they constantly get tired of hearing? Okay, well, I can't speak to that. As so, an interracial okay. couple, what yeah. are some of the questions? Is this an unpopular opinion, though, or just a question? I it's a question. It's a question, unpopular opinion. You put out a box. To yeah, I put out a so box. That's like why either it's... Or. Yeah, yeah, either okay. or. Yeah. So yeah. I think this week, what's smart about it is that we have you, mm. and you have a fan base. So yeah. we wanted to hear back from your fan base mm. as to what exactly they'd like to hear from you. So okay. as an interracial couple, what are some of the questions you get tired assumptions. of hearing about? Assumptions. Mm. Mm. Assumptions. Uh, what? You can start. <laughs> oh, well, um, there is there is a lot. Yeah. Okay. To begin with, there is a lot. Uh, the first one that we get a lot uh, is, of course, about finances. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mostly. Mostly, they think um, all that we see in the house, and she rents money on my head. Because <laughs> I'm wish. like the wow. I wish. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I wish. You wish it was raining, <laughs> raining euros. <laughs> <laughs> in the Tile house, when? just one more <laughs> Spanish dinero. <laughs> pesos. <laughs> Give me pesos. <laughs> Give me pesos, <laughs> ma. I wish I had, I was as rich as people think I am. Uh, I wish. Uh, yeah. I, I'm getting there, but not yet. You know? yeah, yeah. yeah. But then also sometimes they say that I must with, be with him because of his money too. Yeah. So it's like, which way is it? Mm, which they, is it yeah they yeah. can't just believe it's like love yeah. they just no. it has to be an agenda Money that's what they is think the reason. yeah one way yeah. or the other you know mm. so it's mostly about that it's mostly around finances and money yeah, i would cheers. say why do you think that why do you think that is is it because that here we have such a mindset problem or scarcity mindset problem where you know we think that love only happens because there's money in a relationship mm. is that the mindset that you think people are trying to like kind of push on you then mm. project on you Mm. or what Definitely. reasons would you think what reasons do you think that would be why would you why would that conversation take that tone okay i think it is a case in many international relationships interracial relationships um maybe like a sugar daddy type of thing yeah. like i think yeah. that ex- definitely exists mm. Mm. so I can see why people can have that perception but mm. it's definitely not the case mm. for us so yeah. Yeah. yeah and also i think like the dating scene in kenya especially revolves mm. around all, around money a lot yeah um so maybe that's another reason mm. so you're just victim of like other people's narratives being yeah. pushed sort of onto you yeah. and how do you like deal with that as a couple or does it not really get in the door uh, it's just it sort of stays out i mean um there's not much you can do about yeah. what other people think or say yeah. no exactly yeah. i mean yeah as long as we're good yeah, yeah, we that's don't all really. That matters. Yeah, you yeah. just keep it pushing. Yeah, yeah. we don't really care yeah. about it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I, feel, I feel like this love is very pure. You hear? You feel? I feel. Like I feel. I, I, I'm, I'm familiar. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. familiar with the jealousy. Like, I feel like the, <laughs> this pure there's a, love. There's a pure love. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling. It's like you don't even talk to us about money, man. We're we're busy building a relationship. Exactly. Yeah. Honestly. And, yeah. and so the question I have to ask is, how did you two meet, and where did this beautiful love story start? Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, it starts way back in 2019 when I came to Kenya for the first time. Uh, I was interning in the Spanish embassy here. And I started dancing when I came. Yeah, I wasn't a dancer before. 
uh, contrary to popular belief. Many mm. people think that I have been yeah. dancing. Yeah. So then, yeah, I just met him because I was looking for like a dance instructor and stuff. Mm. And My guy. I bumped into <laughs> him like through yeah. Instagram. Yeah. At first, I didn't even like DM him. Just, mm -hmm. You know, I genuinely wanted to like yeah, learn how to dance. dance yeah. Know? Yeah. Um, so then, yeah. I slid into the DM mm -hmm. and then... How long did it take to slide? How long was that? <laughs> the boy! <laughs> he's like, the boy! He's, like, he's just giving the look for you, you know it. You, know you thought it was do. me. Here's yeah. an assumption. <laughs> I am not the problem. He said, look under the shirt. I was yeah. living, I was <laughs> living <laughs> life. It was very slid, but not with any intentions, I promise. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Tilly, uh -huh. do you then, believe that? Do you believe that? She slid with no intentions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <And then>. yeah. <laughs> you don't care. Uh, and now she's a fantastic dancer. No, yeah, she does <laughs> excellently. Uh, honestly, props to him. Because like, yeah. yeah. you, you should have seen me back in the day. Like, yeah. it, was, it was tough. But um, we made it, so it's fine. Mm. And yeah, that's how we met. Like, through him teaching me how to dance. I was mm. obsessed with dancing. Mm. I mean, I still are, but like, you know, in the beginnings when yeah. you're just trying to get better and everything. Mm. So I would go to his studio every day I was there. Mm. So, you know, between mm -hmm. moves and all yeah, that. Yeah, you know, yeah. 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 No. We will no. watch Step Up. Step Up 1, Step Up 2, Step Up 3. Every day she's stepping up. Tilly, tell us, for you, what was your perspective of meeting her? How did that happen? Uh, it's basically the same thing. Um, so she hit me up for classes. Okay, but you liked me before we met. Okay, like before we met? I think we were chatting for a while. Oh, yeah, ah, yeah, so yeah. there's the truth. Hey. Hey. There's the truth. My guy. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I, mean, I mean, of course. Um, so at that point, I was I was uh, in my household element. I was still trying to build my brand, my Dance 98. Mm. Uh, so I was uh, I was very, very focused, I could say. It was it was in the beginning and you know everything in the beginning you need everything mm -hmm. yeah yeah so um let me see yeah i i had like one two three clients so mm. it was like fourth one why not yeah you know yeah. that's everything i need mm. Mm. but then after one two three classes i'm like okay yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe a bit more here okay. than uh, some hip swing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I mean, after a few classes, you can feel the connection. Mm. Uh, it's mm. undeniable. Mm. Yeah. Um, I like that word. Undeniable. Oh, we like that word. Undeniable. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah okay. So we just decided to go on with it. Yeah. 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 It was obvious, so how did you? How did you? How did you get? How did you move from being just a dance teacher to like getting into a relationship? How did you ask her out? Um, I'm very straightforward. Uh, very straightforward. I don't really beat her on the bushes. I like you. Would you like to be my girlfriend? Nice. That's it. Nice. Martina, how did That's that happen? I'm taking Give us <laughs> paint a bigger <laughs> picture. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, so at that point, um, I wasn't planning to stay in Kenya. I was coming for my internship and then I was mm. leaving back to Spain to do mm. my masters or whatever. Mm. Life was going to throw at me. Mm. Um, so then I met him like two months before I had to leave. So at first I didn't want to get into a relationship because, you know, like I'm leaving, mm. like what yeah. are we doing really, yeah. you know? Pressure, huh? So I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. so he, he wanted me, I was like, you know, like, I don't know. Like, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember there was a day, I'm not remembering this, like, oh. this, I had forgotten about this. But there is a day that he was like, look, like, mm. yes or not, like. Mm, that's straightforward it. yeah straightforward like because yeah. yeah. also i guess he didn't want to like get more invested and then i was gonna leave and go to spain and mm. forget about him yeah mm. so then i was like okay yes let's do it you know let's see you know yeah and what was the okay. first thing that like sparked the the interest the first thing we, that you noticed about each other so say when she came to dance class when you went from dance the, the third dance class what was the thing that you said okay there's something here what did you first uh, notice? I mean, for me, uh, I am very, very much attracted to smart people. Mm -hmm. You know, like mm -hmm. you talk to someone just for one, two, three days, you start mm -hmm. feeling the, yeah, you know, the, mm -hmm. the the level of intelligence and stuff like that. So for you, it was about the brains. Huh? <laughs> yeah, like, um, I mean, huh? before the brains... You didn't like her for personality. You didn't like her for the personality or the dancing. You couldn't see the personality. You couldn't see the personality. 
you have to see first before you can uh, you have to see before you can you. see when you. I saw you know yeah. you know, yeah. you you know Bian says in his album yeah. don't ask me vile niligonga uliza vile niliona yeah i i yes 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 yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 don't go your head go your eyes or something yeah okay yeah. um let's okay. let's progress the conversation into dance and yeah. dance as a passion right mm. Chile, how did you discover dance and because dance is what led you to her in many ways yeah. so how did you discover dance and how did you kind of how did you find it and how did you foster it to bring it to attract her to you mm. Mm. well uh i was i was brought up in a children's home uh. what yeah um i was raised in a children's you home you didn't do your research eh? <laughs> <laughs> so um one of the things we used to do is to perform for donors you know um you had to give something back basically so um that's now where i started dancing i was like seven. yeah Damn. so since then dance just was part of me mm. you know mm. yeah. and how did you open a studio from being seven dancing how did you get to op- doing your own studio you said dance 98 yeah because um when i was still uh, in the slums i would watch these movies you know uh, mm. people dancing in the studios i'll be like i would I would love to have this. Yeah. Yeah. And I I go on, or, or, or I I like I take my phone and be like let me check one studio. Right. Yeah. And then I see like yeah. <laughs> classes are like 3k. Yeah. My range yeah. is 1k. And so how many <laughs> classes do like, yeah. the no. maths. <laughs> you know so I'm like mm. I think um I am unable to attend uh, a studio mm. by myself but maybe mm. I should just open one. Right. Okay. And then you're posting online to now bring people before you got the studio. I mean, back then I was not so big, so mm. it was just a matter of uh, trying everything you can, talking to anyone. You mm. know. Yeah. yeah. And that was always the goal. Dance was always the what you wanted to do. And from yeah. seven, yeah. finding your purpose at seven. Yeah. It, for me, Jeez. it's 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 also yeah. the journey from a children's home, mm. yeah. and then through dance, which is very unconventional. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. can I can imagine the amount of resistance you faced in your life wow. when you're saying I want to dance. You know I had to drop out of school to There it is. Mm. Out of campus actually. Um second year I was like Ugh. He was doing computer science. These two mm. years I think I can do something with dance way way better than school because I felt like it was too slow. I felt like the progress in school was too slow. I wanted to learn very fast and very impatient mm-hmm. so i was like ah, let me just go fees, like mm. yeah fees. and of course the school fees um it was eh, up and down up and down you know donor stuff you know there is there isn't so i was like i don't like the way it's uh it's still unstable yeah mm. i'm mm-hmm. i have a problem with that mm. i just like being very sure mm. of what i'm doing where i'm going so i was like i think dance i can, can do you, it with myself can you imagine that yeah. because i understand which ch- where exactly was this children's home Uh it's a place called Joska. Joska is after Roy, I don't know if you know Roy. I know Roy. We yeah. know Roy very well. Uh, he knows Roy. We know Roy very well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So from Joska I do. I do. Genuinely. <laughs> I'm I'm first of all I'm impressed. Yeah. And you took a very unconventional route, a route of high resistance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At what point did you start funding yourself to build a studio? How did you how many clients did you take to walk us through the journey yeah. of I've left campus. Now I need to start Now a what? studio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah man uh so first of all you know I had to tell my my family because I was the only person in my family who had gone to campus so my big brother was mad mm-hmm. and your family is like, big zone. mad mm-hmm. you know it was like you're not serious mm-hmm. they was like at least finish this two years and then give our mom at least a degree you know mm-hmm. and I was like oh, nah. I would rather build a house than give up papers right you know yeah 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 I'm like, i would wow. rather do that so now i dropped and then uh that means i had to now go back because i, I used to live in rongai so i had to go back now to kibra where i was comfortable like basically in my element mm-hmm. yeah. in your element in kibra exactly mm. that's not wow. that's know. not a normal sentence that's that's why i could like do everything without any that's why i was raised I was, that's why i knew like for you to be able to to go somewhere where you don't know you have to come back to the center first it's like come so back kibra to the center. center now i know the directions better so kibra was your center yeah. this is where this is where you felt mm-hmm. 
Hey, my guy, you are hard. hard. Yeah. And now I even started uh, I started teaching uh, kids in the in the hood. There was just a a friend of mine. He gave me his house. He was like, Yeah. Where did the over. Where did the Because as you're telling this story, there's so much like surety and confidence in what you want to do. Yeah. Who Who it's put that inside like that. you from it's a child? Always like that. I've always been, I've like, that. Always been like that. Yeah. yeah. You, it was self-taught. It was just something that came out. Always, um, you know, the my a, a lot of people ask me, um, what's your inspiration? It's problems, my friend. Wow, yeah. problems, yeah. They yeah. just push you. <laughs> I don't need anybody or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Also, Jeez. I feel like he That's grew crazy. up in a, an environment where he couldn't mm. really rely on anyone. Right. So yeah. when so you, you are the up. only person you can mm. rely on the self confidence is a must like mm, yeah. it comes you know so yeah. i think that's why we always say on here we've yeah. said this for like all these seasons and we've never had a perfect example but we always say it's not your fault but it's your responsibility how you react to your scenario yeah and 100%. you've literally just embodied that yeah we finally have proof <laughs> let me tell christ <laughs> yeah. for anyone who's watching yeah. this <laughs> thank you you know there's yeah. a lot of people who are watching this from home and they think when he says Kibra, it sounds like this fancy estate in London. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Google it. Inside Google. Video, yeah. Inside video, yeah. yeah, like we're going to insert a video. Please I think yeah. we'll we'll have yeah. to look for a clip you and insert it give here context, yeah. to give you the context of what exactly he's saying mm. in terms of that's your natural yeah. habitat. Mm. Mm. It's the ha- for me. I think Kibra is the hardest place on earth, on God's green earth. Mm. I don't think there's a place that's mm. as hard to be in mm. or as mm. hard to live mm. in as Kibra. And mm. for you to say that, that's mm. where you had to go and start afresh mm. yeah. yeah it's and you've reached this stage mm. it's a testament to your mm. resilience and mm. to your mindset so shout out to you for being the here. the fact you said that it's like the hardest place on earth i'm very curious right from someone who's lived it is there a misconception or is does community carry everyone what's the how did it become your natural like the place where you felt safe is it actually do that? Uh, yeah. I, I mean um there is a lot of misconceptions about yeah. kibra yeah but i mean uh they say rumors they have a base Mm, you know mm, yeah mm. so life is very difficult there i won't lie yeah yeah it's very but difficult. regardless there was still a sense yeah. of this is my community yeah my base. now uh yeah. especially for me it was a bit tricky because that i felt more comfortable there but then i didn't really want to associate with uh, my friends a lot from there mm. so i used to go outside more because they don't want now to feel comfortable being there you always thought a bit you bigger get, than yeah, yeah. I, would, I just wanted to be in a place where um, i can work comfortably but mm-hmm. no one to feel like yeah. i'm already there like right. all my friends they just sit around and uh mm. you know do drugs and stuff like that yeah. so we'll just be like hey cheers cheers and yeah. i pass wow. i'm going yeah. to the demo to dance huh? yeah yeah. 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 Uh, yeah it was always like that wow out I'm back at um like eleven or something. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. So yeah. where was the studio? That so the met? studio was in Lovington now. Clever guy. Because yeah. that was the goal, basically. Wow. wow. So you moved. Okay. So and I, he I moves approached like the person he wants to be. You yeah. Know? I approached um <laughs> uh, a friend yeah. of mine now in the he had a a gym there. Mm. So I said um I don't really have much I can offer, but mm. I trust myself so much and I believe in like one year. Wow. I will be in a very good place, and this yeah. dance thing will, this dance studio will be big, you know. So I was like, for now, whatever I get, we split into half. That's that's the only thing I can offer. I get five, we split five. Mm. Um, I get ten, split it that way. It gets five, you know. So wow. and he was like, let's go, because the thing is with me, most people see it very fast. You see mm. very fast. Uh, two three days, you can see my work ethic very fast. So it was like, mm. take it. You know. So your work ethic is what's been driving you, yeah. and your motivation is problems. problems. That's, One that's, year yeah. we were almost getting kicked out of uh, that place because of uh, noise. Too many people mm. in the studio. My gosh! And Martina was one of yeah. those people. Yeah, mm. well, I was one of the first people. I want yeah. to say, like she when I made him, he was mm. still in Kibra. Yeah. He was um, like there was no like established that's mm. like the eight thing mm. or anything. Mm. Yeah. You know, so yeah. While this is going on. Now this is happening here. Yeah, we've got Tilly's context of like upbringing, love, falling in love with yeah. dance. How what was your journey before you came to Nairobi? While to be honest, okay, my story is not that inspiring. <laughs> <I'm> sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I've lived a pretty normal life in a European yeah. country. But that's you know, the like, idea. Yeah. That's the idea. Yeah, that's like, the contrast we want to paint. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. um, you know, my childhood was uh, nice. I went to. 
a normal school, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. had Chris, uh, had Christmas gifts and everything. I don't know, like mm. it was just normal. I always knew I wanted to live outside of Spain. Mm. I always wanted to like travel and you mm. know. So I studied international relations in Madrid, mm-hmm. and then that's, not real. Come on. Mm-hmm. That's, mm-hmm. How, mm-hmm. that's how I got now the internship to come to so Nairobi. And I was applying. I applied to many uh, destinations mm. like Habana. That mm. would have been nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Habana, Indonesia, and like a few others. Mm. Um, but then they rejected me of all of them. Mm. I don't know why. Mm. Like I was a good student and I had yeah. good English, so I was like, why? Yeah. And then uh, at the end they gave me Nairobi. And as soon as I saw like in the email Nairobi, I was like, yeah. Just like it made sense it so makes I was sense. like <laughs> yeah like that's where I was supposed to go wow. you know so then yeah I just left mm. and then yeah I had a lot of fun mm-hmm. that first time in Kenya like yeah yeah, yeah because you know I was still and, and under my parents wing and everything right. you know yeah yeah, yeah I've, I've lived a pretty comfortable life yeah I can't yeah. lie okay. so um so when I met him um now i'm like wow like I, it really didn't scare me mm-hmm. like where he came from you know mm-hmm. and it, i wasn't familiar with something like that mm-hmm. but i don't know it really didn't scare me now mm-hmm. looking back i'm like yeah. are you crazy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but i think loki that you might know? be one of the things because even as he's telling the story she's like yeah yeah my yeah, man no, yeah you know, she's, it's like maybe it was actually a factor that drew yeah. you to him yeah. because i think in any guy seeing stability drive mm. it's gonna attract you straight yeah away, you know what i mean it's yeah. as he says like you can't tell yeah like if you are with him like for a couple mm. of days it's like you can't tell so even when he had nothing back then mm. it's like you could tell i don't know yeah, why yeah, like yeah, i don't yeah, know really yeah, like yeah. Hey. you couldn't pinpoint but yeah. it's like no go no go calma you know exactly <laughs> amazing so yeah. Um, yeah we just decided to stick together i like to think i was a catalyst mm. to his success yeah, of course mm. not to take credit or anything but mm. i think claro claro, claro. <laughs> amazing so you know yeah yeah enter social media to mm. the conversation this guy right? from This huh? guy, huh? she has this guy from Kibera speaking Spanish. Hey, Let me on. tell you something. <laughs> It's about who you marry, my <laughs> boy. Juxtaposition. <laughs> ah, you know. This is a lovely yeah, podcast. That's beautiful, yeah. beautiful. So, so now at this yeah, at this stage, um, the reason we know you is because of digital. Yeah. Um, and you said that you weren't really posting at that time. When did you start to sit down and say, okay, I'm doing this dance thing to grow. I need to use digital and social media. What was that journey like? Your introduction to I think TikTok was the first place no. I saw you guys. For me, it was uh, even even back then. I mm-hmm. I say I wasn't big, mm-hmm. but I had like fifteen thousand followers, so I was still yeah. that's big. Doing, yeah, that's you know big. Back yeah, then. yeah, yeah that's big. He was yeah, popular. Yeah, popular. Okay. He's always been that guy. He's always been yeah, that guy. Was Come on, like, yeah. I was I was I was popular, but I was yeah. even more popular on the streets. You know, for example, mm-hmm. in Kibra, yeah, yeah, most people knew me without social media. You get, oh, yeah, because I was always everywhere yeah. doing my stuff, and yeah, things like that. Right. So they just you translated get. now onto yeah. digital after. But I was still very good, and mm. even on social media, even mm. when we met, uh, the first video we did, um, I was like, uh, let's do this this exact way. I'm sure you're gonna go hard. Mm. The, the the video got a million views. What on YouTube? On YouTube, the and he piece. had and he had like three thousand subs. Yeah. Or so at yeah. that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you know it was gonna blow? Yeah, yeah, for me, I knew, but not that much. Oh, In my okay. head, I was yeah. like, 50 to 100k. Yeah, yeah. yes. A million. Yeah. yeah. Like, right, trust yeah, me, my guy. Yeah. Like, okay. When the chemistry is on screen, it's like, crazy. They, yeah. you can't, you can't, it's undeniable. Huh? Yeah. Like, he just knows, like, he, he had it studied. Like, right. even yeah. back then, like, yeah. he knew what he was doing. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So, actually, it was YouTube first than oh, TikTok, yeah, even yeah. before TikTok, TikTok came into the picture. I think that's when I was introduced to the brand, yeah. that's why, yeah. Because yeah. this was 2019, and he had been doing it. Yeah. Like, he used to shoot videos, like, yeah, you know, so dance yeah. videos. I like, used to have, uh, like, uh, 30 vi- dance videos ahead of time. Just the same so way you guys doing. are shooting like this. Mm. Yeah, I used to have... Just batch, like batch shoot. I'll just you know? shoot every single day, dance videos on the street, mm. and just post... Later. On his iPhone, yeah. whatever. 5C. Yeah. 5C. Oh, those were the days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 5C yeah. In, Kibra, yeah. in Kibra, I was the guy. Yeah, popping. <laughs> Bro, I can't talk to him. I yeah. used to walk with it like this, you know, like... <laughs> no fear. Hey, no fear. Nah. Don't yeah. play. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm really impressed, Tile. Yeah. I hope you know. I'm just like I'm really impressed by I appreciate it. That that <laughs> mindset doesn't it doesn't come easy. Um I, I've there was a time I walked through I've I've seen Kibra a lot in my life. I grew up in South Sea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I've seen Kibra a lot in my life and it's a culture of where yes people are happy, but it's a very closed culture mm. of people, very intimate culture of people and to see that they've produced someone who has your mindset your skill and you you're going after the world literally yeah. you're mm. saying i'm dancing every week i just have a what do you have to say to someone who's grown up in kibra right now who's watching man talk yeah. and who feels like you know life is hopeless especially the economy now it's very hard yeah. what would be a piece of advice you'd want to give someone who's watching this and is in a situation where they think is hopeless but you've beaten be- beggar them you've be- you've beaten harder odds yeah I mean I wish I wish I had um like a like a magic potion or a secret word but there is none you just have to uh keep going like but then you have to find something and then go otherwise you just be doing circles you need to find a straight line that's the easiest way yeah. you need to find a straight line and now keep moving keep your head Make down Make a plan stick to it Yeah yeah, yeah by by a straight line I mean like put a target mm-hmm. and I just go yeah mm-hmm. just go I mean there's mm-hmm. you, have, you have you if you're in Kibra you don't have much to lose <laughs> you're, you're literally yeah. a zero you get better yeah. Like, you know, yeah. you're literally a zero yeah, yeah. because yeah. I normally say for people like me we're born uh in in a situation which is like starting a match at, at three nil you mm-hmm. know so you have to equal as fast Yeah. Yeah. You know, before you even start thinking about mm. getting to a, a certain place, you have to equalize first. By equalizing just that means you just have to to be normal. Yeah. Wow. Be able to go to the yeah. toilet. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. That's that's the normal I'm talking. <laughs> yeah. Because it's like you don't even have toilets. So don't mm. even don't even ask how we used to survive. Yeah, I don't even want to know. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. You know. Mm. Yeah. That's what it's I'm like, saying. Mm. It's like you just chilling in your crib. Boom. You're like okay, yeah, somebody. That was tough. <laughs> yeah, you're like, <laughs> you're like, you, yeah. Let me tell you this. At the beginning mm-hmm. of the relationship, I used to spend some nights there in yeah. Kibra with him, and it's like in Kibra. Ima- yeah. yeah. Ah, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. <Dile. laughs> yeah, she, he had me here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Um, but like, imagine you just started dating someone, yeah, and now you're spending the night, and it's like you have to like. Mm. Shit, yeah. I don't know if I can yeah. swear here. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Say it. Yeah. You have to like shit. Yeah. You know, and now yeah. there is no toilet. You can't go. It's at night, so it's like yeah. dangerous outside. So yeah. So imagine like you just have to like suck it up the whole night. I'm now just, <laughs> just yeah. saying this, but it's like yeah. it just tough. Why? I have. I have. What were your parents saying when you called back into Spain and said, "Hey, um, um, what was the? How was that?" Well, they. Uh, they didn't have much to say i think like yeah. i i don't think they knew like passione yeah i don't think they knew, like, yeah. <laughs> knew why he <laughs> actually lived and everything yeah. yeah or maybe they did i don't remember but uh they never had like a bad thing to say about it mm. like it just like be yeah. careful i guess like don't yeah. get like you know <laughs> marked or something exactly yeah. yeah yeah but with him i felt safe there like mm. nothing would happen if i if i'm yeah. going to keep about this is you yeah, go yeah, to yeah, bro if i'm ever going yeah yeah we need to yeah. have a side <laughs> podcast yeah. because yeah. because, yeah. because yeah. like yeah. imagine yeah you have yeah she's in the she's in kibra at night yeah. first of all security in, in the back of my mind i'm thinking yeah. security mm-hmm. if she decides to if someone decides to come here and do anything it's yeah. it's crazy so You must be really con- like I think it's a belief in the community. The community must really protect you as well. Mm. Yeah. Because, I mean, um yeah. that's that's now my hood. Yeah. 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 I mean, she can tell you um how fast it takes for me to get the security. Like yeah. yes, I call and um, very fast <laughs> um there's yeah. an incident that happened there and uh I just made one call and within five minutes the whole place was packed because that's my hood now. Yeah. You oh. know. Like Yeah. I used to just come back even at uh that's why for me when you say it's uh insecure that does not apply to me. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I can just come back at any time even even the people I know who are going to mug you. Yeah. They'll be like yeah. that's how I'm sunny. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm sunny too. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then I know who you are following me. Tomorrow morning, you don't have shoes. If you dare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you walk alone. Yeah. 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 So for me, I was, that's why I'm telling you I had to go back there because that's the only place I could operate mm. with my peace of mind. Yeah, because yeah. you'd be protected. Mm. 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 You know, mm. yeah. That's yeah. how I see it. Wow. Jeez. So now we've okay. That's the story is incredible. So now you, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. can, I, can so I tell you, just for contrast, like it, I'm embarrassed. I came to Kenya in 2015, and my dad was like, "I need to show you. I've showed you one side. I need to now show you the other." Bro, I drove through. Imagine I've never been to Kibra. I burst into tears just mm. driving through because really? I've never seen something like that. So like, I'm just imagining coming from such a different world and then feeling safe in such contrast. It just speaks to. The amount of yeah. love that was there, the amount of uh, connection and trust, it's it's incredible. It's making me think I might just find love. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, if I this doesn't just, convince you, <laughs> no, me, you know, where she, just, you, know you know where she had me. Yeah. I felt like, you know, I could hear things drop on the roof. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. wait a minute, wait, 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 yeah, wait. Yeah. I thought that, you know, even yeah. like you said, like these assumptions that I had about the mm. relationship now that are completely gone. Yeah. Exactly. Because she was there with him. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. In a generation where mm. we are busy saying. Preach on it. Yeah, we're That's busy good. saying, oh, he if he doesn't give me this, then I don't love him. If exactly. he doesn't give me yeah. a super yeah. He's definitely had his yeah. fair share of that. Too. Yeah, you know, yeah. those those things. Before me, I mean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like in those Before, situations yeah. Yeah, where like a lot of men are like feel deep financial insecurity that's being instigated by yeah. like in the relationship mm. kind of dynamic. Yeah. Here we are hearing you coming from Spain, a very stable family, a mm. very a very like good stable yeah. predictable upbringing and a guy who's just going after it in life yeah yeah and in the most dire of circumstances mm. right mm. Yeah. they are mm. finding love yeah muher yeah you know yeah it's self yeah muher yeah there's muher in, yeah. in kibra you know like there yeah. should be a study mm. Mm. you two need to be yeah. studied yeah that doesn't happen no. oscar yeah. we've debated this i'm sorry to bring you into our conflict yes. but for about 3 years we've debated about when we meet a woman, we asked Bien the same question. Yes. We asked Joel Rao the same question. And yeah. I think this is a perfect time to say, I think I'm right. Because we've always said, do you meet a girl when you've achieved everything? Yeah. Or do you meet her on the road to achieving and then they go along with you? What do you think now? Because this has been... <laughs> <laughs> we've put, since this podcast started, we've been debating on every week on live. This might be the episode. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is case this, closed. Look at, look at the example. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the example. the example. We've been debating. Yeah. We've been and debating. Been on this side where like, I want to grind with that and get there and get there. Because yeah. I don't want to meet somebody who want to have everything. You know, yeah. Yeah. first of all, yeah. like, do what are you meeting for I have or, or yeah, who I am, yeah. right? Yeah. Exactly. As, so, as, are we, are I'm, I'm, I'm bought in. Uh-huh. Uh, Tile has changed my yeah. mind. Oh, and thank Martina. you. Um, thank I will you. now find someone to build with. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. Before even her, even her, she has to be there. You know, your father running podcasts, being a finance guy, <laughs> yeah. lawyer guy. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't. Exactly. I wasn't sure. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, for us, that eliminates the question in the, yeah. in the relationship like mm. are you in for anything yeah, yeah. so yeah. We, you can't even ask that question both mm. of us know where we've been exactly because yeah. yeah. also let me tell you like so true when we started i also had nothing to my name like mm. obviously mm. i had like a a, a a mattress to fall back on if mm. everything yeah. fails you know which is something he didn't have mm. but like really like Mm, standing and standing nothing, alone you know, like, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean that's yeah. a very big misconception by yeah. the way yeah. most yeah. people think she just came in and took yeah. me and threw me in Spain and yeah. Yeah, exactly. my life not at all, not at all. Yeah. Like, you just no, together just two broke people like, yeah. <laughs> just figuring yeah. it out actually yeah. um, I also think that the reason why I it didn't scare me that or it didn't like make me you know don't want nothing to do with him when he was broke and stuff it's because I had that privilege of like my dad mm. has got me in a way. Yeah, if you know, worst like, comes to worst. I think yeah. I think many yeah. Kenyan women maybe it's like they also have nothing. Like yeah. so it's like they, no, okay, that's why they just, you know what I mean? Yeah, like that's why they it. look yeah. for a provider or something. Because it's like they themselves don't have nothing. And me, I had the privilege of just dating for love because mm. you know I'm dating good. for love is yeah. a privilege, is that what yeah. you think? Um I mean, in a way, I guess. I agree. Um, but then yeah. I also, I, I also want to say that I also know Spanish people, Spanish women that would never do what I did. Yeah. Mm. Even though they have like that same privilege. Mm. So yeah, it's like. I but don't know. can these Spanish women dance like you, Tilo? 
<laughs> Moving on. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I want to take us now to just to fast forward um, from that lovely inception and that lovely beginning. Mm-hmm. And I want to talk about building a brand together because I feel like I can see a lot of mm. you in each other mm-hmm. when it comes to how you've built individual brands. Yeah. How has that journey been? And what has it been like building a brand in dancing together? Yeah. Uh, I mean, just like any other brand, it's not an easy task. <laughs> and especially uh, now, you know, social media, you have to be very keen because uh, you can get sucked in very fast and decide to go the easy route, which is, um, of course, uh, clock chasing and stuff like that. Yeah. We've always been very careful and uh, we prefer to be low key mm. and just be yeah. real. Mm. You know, mm. just like grow at our pace and mm. uh, keep everything uh, that's supposed to be private, private. Mm. And uh, only share what we think or what we want to share. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, just build a brand to in the in the line of uh, this is what we do. Mm. You know, this stance um, is uh, uh, if it's a uh, fashion, just that basically. Mm. Yeah. Wow. How did you draw those lines? Like, this is what we don't share. This is what we do share. How was it like a sit down conscious decision, or did you did you just go for it and see what you don't like and then rein it in? No, we 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 talk about it every single day. Wow. Uh, yeah. We 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 discuss. Sometimes it's like, what do mm. you think <laughs> about this? Um, mm. Some I ask her, yeah. she asked me. It's like. Mm. But I also think like we were always mm. like in the same page about that. Like yeah, okay. it wasn't yeah. like a conversation. Like yeah, we right. had to agree on. Mm. It was just like natural. Like um, mm. we are not exposing like our the core of our relationship we mm. just like mm. create content together mm. and yeah that's it <laughs> put yeah. out content for people yeah. to enjoy you know yeah so yeah. That, would you say that's your why like showcasing people dance and then also so i remember there was a time on your page you were telling people to vote um what kind of content should i make a new page for this yeah, should i be a mother yeah. <laughs> should i just be um a dancer yeah. so what do you think your kind of why is at the moment as a couple and individually with the content that you create mm. uh this decision was like tough for me because mm. I feel like there's so many mm. hearts I put on and like yeah. faces and mm. things I do that you know normally in social media they say like you find your niche, niche. and stick to it mm. and everything but for me it's like I don't want to find a niche like yeah. I just want to show you everything I do exactly yeah like yeah. Yeah. you follow me for who I am not mm. for what I do in yeah. a way or like yeah. or because I do this ex- um, mm specific thing you know mm. so i decided like look i'm gonna just put out what i want and then if people rock with it that's fine mm. if they don't that's also fine like yeah. you know mm. um so right now personally and i think both of us are in a point in our careers where we generally love what we're doing like mm. i like mm. making videos and being mm. creative and mm. like providing value for our clients mm. so that's where we are right now mm-hmm. But it's been a journey, like, we haven't always been there, yeah, you know, you like, have to start. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, at first it was dancing, mostly. Mm-hmm. We love dancing, we love creating, yeah. we love mm-hmm. shooting videos. That's how mo- most people know, know us, yeah. us, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we have branched out a lot mm-hmm. from there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like individually I've seen and then also as a collective, you've, mm-hmm. you've mm-hmm. branched out mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. What do you think your sort of why is, the bit of content you enjoy the most giving to people? Uh, you know, for me, I've always been sort of a black sheep mm-hmm. for my life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so even in content uh, creation, I don't really follow any rules. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just, uh, I believe I can do anything I want. You know, um, yeah. if it's dancing, uh, it's posting about being a dad, I can dance with my son. I'm a dancing mm. father. Very yeah. simple. Dancing you know. father. Mm. Uh, fashion, I can still dance while I'm dripped out. You know? Right, got it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. basically, I just, I just go. Abs, you can dance while doing crunches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've done a lot of very viral dance videos in, in the, the gym. gym. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. exactly that. Yeah. So it's that's about just breaking me. I just go. Mm. You know. I want us to talk about branching out, yeah. and you have some lovely bags on you. 
Yeah. And uh, and you and you recently I <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for reminding yeah. us. <laughs> you recently branched out into fashion yeah. and we saw a designer collection of bags. Yeah. Please tell us about it because even us you want bags. Mm, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. um these are the bags, guys. Mm-hmm. We are both <laughs> rapping with it. Yeah. yeah. They are funny bags mm. and they are in collaboration with this Kenyan brand called Equera. Mm. And they have um mm. Like the whole production is in mm. Kenya. The mm. leather they are made with is they are made of is also Kenyan from Machakos County, mm. Mm. <laughs> and they are made in Mbakasi. So um, yeah, it's an 100% Kenyan made brand. Mm. And yeah, they reached out. They wanted to like put out a product with me. And at first, I was hesitant because I was like, mm. like I don't know. I've never yeah, done this. Like, what do I do? You know, yeah. like. And then she was like, what about a bag, like, Shini, if you're watching this. Mm. <laughs> this is the lady that reached out to me. And she was like, what about a bag? Because that's, like, mainly what they do, shoes and bags. And I was like, wait, like, yeah. Make, like, my make, funny bag. Yeah, <laughs> like, you, yeah. yeah, like, that made so much sense. Mm. Like, mm. I've always worn a funny bag, like, whoever has seen me more than twice in their life knows that always, I yeah. always wear a funny bag, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, even, like, before, like, years ago, right? Mm. And at first, I used to wear, like, those fabric ones with funny prints and stuff, mm. but they would break very easily, like, with keys or any, like, yeah. pointy thing. So then I switched, I bought my first, like, leather funny bag, yeah? Mm. And I had that for, like, six years, well, like, mm. and I would still wear it. I would still wear it right now, but yeah. now it's just that I came out with my yeah, own, so, one. you know. Exactly, yeah. So, yeah, I'm very proud of them. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a personal project, you yeah, know, because it's um, something I always have loved and wear mm-hmm. proudly. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, now we've come out with a lot of different colors, mm-hmm. you know. Amazing. For everyone on yeah. every occasion. We'll be getting our soon. Yeah. We'll be getting our soon. So, you yeah. can buy them www.equera.com. Thank Amazing. you. Amazing. <laughs> The okay, so bags one place you've branched into. Um, as we wrap up, I want to know what the goal is for you guys because mm. the journey coming from where you've come from, achieving what you've done, where are you now looking to get to? What does success look like for you now in yeah. the future? Because your parents as well, so yeah, generational wealth. Hey, I love that sentence, <laughs> tag it twice. <laughs> <laughs> to look. That's the goal. Amazing, <laughs> generational wealth every yeah. time, every time, Jeez, mm. like. Yeah, now that, so yeah. every day um, while, while we're discussing finances, we're like, so where are we, I normally like to say, um, I'm not poor anymore. Mm. Uh, I could say I'm rich, mm. but I want to be wealthy. Yeah, yeah he gets it. You yeah. know, yeah, there's, there's <laughs> a very right? big difference. Yeah. Three, like, yeah. three mil for three. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah. yeah yeah so now we're in that uh process where we're trying to transition from uh mm. being comfortable mm. to being secured yeah yeah. You know? yeah yeah and the goal is very simple for someone like me um i've literally grown up without my family around me mm. uh my goal is to make sure my son does not experience that in any way exactly uh being uh also me uh, I'm the only person in my family who has mm. been able to achieve um, this kind of uh, success, I would say. Yeah. Uh, it's very difficult because you have to come up with anyone, uh, everyone around you, mm. you know. Yeah, so it's very tricky because you have yeah. to... It's heavy. Mm. The tax is heavy. You know, yeah. at some points you have to pick, yeah. you know. Yourself, and for me, yeah. I'm always um, leaning towards making sure that my son won't pick you know yeah. that means Amazing. um yeah. if it comes to yeah. uh my parents and me yeah i will build me so that my son does not have to make the same choices again yeah, yeah. you yeah. get That's and beautiful. it's very it's a very very difficult um mm. uh level i could say because yeah. at some yeah. point you're like ah oh, mm. oh i really yeah. mm, they, they really need it but I also need it. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, then my son looks like he doesn't need it, but mm. if I don't do it for me now, yeah. he'll be right back trying to later I'll be up. doing yeah. the same thing yeah. now um while he has his own son trying to. Exactly. You know, yeah. yeah. So yeah. 
breaking generational curses takes a lot. Exactly. Mm-hmm. A lot. And that's exactly what you're doing. Where yeah. you're like, you're trying to protect your family from the pain of its past to yeah. mm-hmm. a new future. And, and mm-hmm. we, it's very motivating. Like I said, till yeah. I'm very impressed. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oscar is a new man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I am extremely, because you see, I can contextualize yeah. a lot of what, you know, what you're saying. Yeah. I, uh, and I really wish you the best because as a father, as a businessman, as a couple, mm. yeah. here on Man Talk, we will always open our doors for you. Mm. And Shit, we man. really, really have to get these bags because now mm-hmm. they represent yeah. more. They rep- yeah. yeah, this is for... Yeah, yeah this, this is sub. for Tiago, guys. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 exactly. Yeah. This is for yeah. Tiago. such a nice name. Such yeah. a nice yeah. name. Yeah. Thank oh. you. Yeah, Tiago. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, so like, ask your name, you say Tiago. Tiago. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, be careful. And he's hard. Yeah, he's a yeah, hard he's guy. A, yeah. Don't ask me. Don't make me turn into my dad. Yeah. <laughs> You're making a sweet one. <laughs> so, like, yeah. huge, huge props to you, my guys. Thank and you. and thank you so much for coming on Man Talk mm. and sharing your story with us. Yeah. If you're watching this from home, um, like, share, subscribe. Mm-hmm. Um, remember to do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And remember to get yourself one of the bags. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I and enjoy the festive season. I yeah. think this is another beautiful story mm. that we've gotten to tell. Yeah. I want to just say, give you a flowers as well. I think a lot of the time when, and this is what we want to dispel with Man Talk by having different people on. A lot of the time people think like, a real man is someone who's loud, who's showy, mm. who talks too much. But I like the quiet stillness and confidence that you give because I think in that stillness you bring security. Yeah. And ultimately that's what a man is, somebody that's going to create stability for people around him. So I think a lot of guys that probably follow you will watch your extended conversation here and be inspired to go a different route about being a proper man. Yeah. Um, and in doing so, they will achieve what you've achieved and have a lovely wife like you have as well and hopefully a better life in general so thank you for taking um, I don't think they'll be able to have a lovely wife like her because okay. yeah. hey, hey. he knows what, he to, knows say. what to say he's <laughs> skilled that title is for her only yeah. Yeah. nobody yeah. else knows what to say <laughs> yeah, yeah no, so I'm, I'm inspired too they oh. can try have their own versions but have their own version that's what we'll one, say <laughs> this one is taken yeah. the bus is gone <laughs> the best is already gone <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that so much yeah. Um, but yeah so this is Christmas this is Boxing Day. This is Boxing Day. So I hope you enjoyed your Christmas. Yeah. Um, we're probably sat on the couch right now, yeah. just bloated from our Christmas dinner. So I hope you are too. Same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope you've enjoyed this episode. Half as much. As we've enjoyed making it. Because we have had a ball. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Enjoy your festive season. Woo!